sponsors. H U Hijab Fest, okay. <laughs> Assalamualaikum everybody, my name is Arifi Walkit and I'm here with Fajr Delane, one of the HU Hijab Fest coordinators and you might recognize her from Dean TV's new show, Dean Talk. Fajr, tell us a little bit about the HU Hijab Fest. Well, HU Hijab Fest is all about bringing sisters all together from across the nation and the world to celebrate them and give them this time to feel good about themselves, see amazing speakers that are doing great things within our community. So I feel like it's a networking event, a uh, event of celebration and just a great time. That's fantastic. Now tell us, you got some amazing guest speakers. How did you find these people? How did you contact them? My answer is a lost one to Allah, really. <laughs> I really had the prayer and literally I think the real essence of what I really try to do um, genuinely just came out and a lot literally pull the resources together. Ipti Hedge's cousin, I model for her eyeglasses. So anyways, I found out that she's her cousin. So I said, put a good word for me. So kind of like by word of mouth, but also by hustling down on the internet to see if they're available. That's fantastic. What an amazing work ethic. Thank you. I'm here with Sister Aisha Prime, one of the most amazing poets I've ever heard here at Hate You Hijab Fest. on my own terms. Do a lot of work in terms of women empowerment and the upliftment of our youth into positions of leadership by giving them the, the training that they need from an Islamic perspective as well as within the modern context. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm here with Nisa Muhammad, the Assistant Dean for Religious Life at Howard University. So Nisa, I heard that you are the first female to hold this role. So I'm, I'm honored to have this distinction of being the first Muslima to be a Muslim chaplain at a HBCU. It's a wonderful distinction and I'm just very honored to have it. And so HU Hijab Fest is one of the first things that we've organized with the Muslimas at Howard University. And they have just been so excited to really put on a program that would show the beauty of Islam, to empower Muslim women to be the best they can be, and just really have the students active in demonstrating their leadership skills and making a commitment to unite the community as well as the university. That is amazing. I am here with Veronica Hansberry, a senior at Howard University. So what is your involvement with Hijab Fest? Well, I'm currently the fashion show coordinator and the PR manager for HU Hijab Fest. What made you decide to come and do all this work for Hijabs? Because I know this has been a ton of work. I just wanted to like show that it's not always like you don't have to be boring to be covered you don't have to be unfashionable to be modest they're not two things that can go together i love that i'm here for dean tv with fatu sankari one of the hu hijab fest coordinators but she is so much more than just a regular coordinator so how have you when did you start getting involved in hijab fest when did this whole event kind of come to come to become like an idea um, it was really a conversation that happened end of October, right after Howard's homecoming, that we decided maybe we want to put together a hijab fest, a women's conference in the morning, a fashion show in the evening. And in November, the planning began, and February 3rd, here we are. Research, attend workshops, summer courses, volunteering. Everybody, look over my left shoulder. There's the rarest species possible at hijab fest. A oh, man. So I'm here with Fuad George at HU Hijab Fest. Fuad, are you aware that you're probably the only male in this room? Yes, I'm very flattered actually. <laughs> I just saw like it's all women and uh, I, it was my first question actually when I wanted to exhibit and they were more than welcoming. So it's, it's an amazing opportunity to be here. All right, that's really great. Hijab Fest, we do not discriminate with the vendors. And here what I'm showing are designers by women that uh, have all a message either for women empowerment. So here we have these phone cases, which is a designer, her name is Fatma Al Mullah. She's Emirati from Dubai. And uh, these phone cases represent women in uh, niqab, but uh, they are also superhero. And this is to show that every woman, even if she, whatever she is wearing, her hijab, her niqab, or whatever she is, is a superhero in her own way. I'm here with Yasser Saeed and his daughter. Yes. 
I am. And Yasser is one of the only other men that we found here at HU Hijab Fest. Yasser, what brought you here today? Well, we're really excited about this program, alhamdulillah. It's great to see the sisters get together and do something supporting one another. So I wanted to bring my daughters and their friend as well uh, to get the benefit of this, just seeing all the sisters together. It's a beautiful thing, mashallah. Mashallah. Aya, what do you think of Hijab Fest? How, would, how has your experience been so far? Well, I just got here a couple minutes ago, but I'm really excited, and the programs look really good, so I'm really excited for later. What about you? Did you arrive here early? No, but I'm staying late, and I'm really excited to um, see the fashion show. That's something that I'm really excited. I'm bringing my other four sisters who should be on their way um, later, and we're all going to watch it. So I'm excited, for sure. And yeah, the fashion show sounds really exciting. I'm very excited about it. by Penny Appeal USA, Small Change, Big Difference, by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S., and by Recycle Processes Incorporated.